Uh, there is no security without development and there is no development without security. I've experienced that firsthand when I was a commander in the south of Afghanistan and we had a big uh, fight over uh, a village uh, for several days. Uh, and we, we won the fight, but we didn't solve the problem. And we found out that the, the real tensions were about the dispute over water. Uh, water was scarce, they are agricultural, uh, so everybody depended uh, on getting so, as much water as they could get, uh, which uh, created a lot of tensions. So we brought in some uh, diplomats who were already in the mission, uh, some experts, and they negotiated a solution. And from that moment on, it was stable in that village and the Taliban couldn't get a, any food on the ground. And from that, I learned that uh, development and the military uh, can really reinforce each other. And development can be a tool for security, but the other way around as well. Security can be a tool for development. Climate change can be a root of conflict. Uh, climate change drives uh, water shortages, food shortages, and that fuels tensions that are already there. Uh, so uh, next to that, of course, there are the, the very severe weather events that occur more intensely. And in those cases, in those severe weather occasions, uh, the, the civil uh, security providers are also struck by the event. So they uh, are not able to deploy all they have and what they have is not sufficient to deal with it. So the military needs to step in. I think it's very important once this uh, climate changes and delivers more and more uh, intense effects uh, on coastal areas and in islands, that we look at scenarios together, civil and military, look, make our risk assessments together, look at scenarios together and develop civil arrangements on how can we help each other. And we have developed those arrangements in the Netherlands, so a big part of the Dutch armed force is always ready to support civil authorities, uh, but we have to review that in the light of climate change. For the military, it's important to also adapt to climate change. We, uh, if climate is changing, you have to be able to work in all those climate circumstances. So also our equipment, our training needs to adapt to the changing climate. Uh, and another uh, important aspect for the military to me would be that we could use the military as a kind of a platform for innovation. We tried that with, uh, with several uh, startups and companies with, with great inventions. And one of them was a, a guy who said that, that he could extract water from the air. And at first I didn't believe him, uh, but uh, then I gave him a chance uh, and he succeeded. Uh, and now he's developing a product that might change uh, the big problems in the world. I've dedicated my life to protect uh, our uh, society because I believe in the freedom that we have and I think it's our responsibility to protect what we have for our next generation, for my children. That's what drives me now. So justice to me would be that we do everything we have in our power to make sure that our children can live in the same safe environment that we can live in.